very clear because if you get in a situation like this, or I'm speaking directly to you, Yana, if you're in a situation like this, I want you to understand that you are not responsible as an authorized user for the debt on that credit card. Okay. So I want you to first understand that. That way, I'm hoping that it takes a little bit of the financial stress off of your shoulders because you're not responsible for the debt on there. What you are responsible for is how that card reflects on your consumer report. Okay. So your consumer report is going to read the utilization on there. Okay. And so the utilization is, well, how much available credit does she have and how much is she using? All right. Does she make her payments on time? All of that's going to be reflecting on your credit card. Uh, I mean, on your consumer report. OK, so um, you have to make the tough decision to say, like, do I want to stay an authorized user or do I want to start um, building on my own? Yeah, because I think the, the important thing is that being added to somebody's credit, uh, being added as an authorized user is a gift and a curse, because if let's say I have 800, 800 credit score and I add my sister, which I did as an authorized user on my card, she gets all that information reported on her credit report. But if I decide to start having late payments, if I decide to start fully using, um, the, if, I, if I decide to use all of my utilization and I, and I have neg and I start reporting negative things, those negative things also report on her consumer report. So you get the positives, but you also get the negative. So you want to be very careful on who you allow to add you, uh, be very careful on um, whose car you're being added as an authorized user to, because you get the good from that card, but you also get the bad. So make sure that person is responsible.